uh, the cleanups have Trash started again. Apocalypse day two. Trash apocalypse part two cleanup. This is uh, we're gonna go down the same road. It's well, it was supposed to rain, not raining, so we're winning there. <laughs> We have a couple of great volunteers here today that are gonna help us. And I think we're gonna do one team today. We're gonna to stick to one side of the road and try to bang out as much as we can. Go as far as we can, as fast as we can. But I mean, we are in Surrey. This is not as easy. <laughs> Surrey's not as easy, but we're gonna have fun. That's why we're gonna build on our volunteers. If you didn't make it out this week, that's okay. We'll be back in two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Two, two weeks. We'll be back in two weeks, doing the same thing again here. We'll start here every time until we make it all the way to the other end of this street and then we'll uh we'll relocate because i mean this is a good location <laughs> are you actually speaking sign language it's gonna be really cool are you really <laughs> but stay tuned and this is the part two part two surrey trash apocalypse cleanup and we're gonna we're gonna make it happen so thanks for tuning in bins to go beast coast making it clean Nice. <laughs> cool. My shoulder. We're in the trash apocalypse. You need to be prepared. Guide the trash talk. Bucket grabber. Rule one. <laughs> it's all about limbering up like in Zombieland. Rumor has it, rumor has it that there's a cart way up the road here. I'm gonna run down and grab it so we have a point of uh, exchange with everything. I'll be back. Of the road and the, like, the amount of garbage that we got. I think that other one might not be locked in so we can go try to get that one too. Crazy how much the, the area that we had cleaned up before has actually stayed fairly clean. So, step in the right direction. Oh, sorry. This is actually where that bum said that this would all look the same. You can do the flashback to this. Like, I mean, obviously there's still garbage, but there was garbage all strewn through here. Is it? Oh, check it out. Here. I don't even know what this is. I know what this is, casing. Wire casings, yeah. Extension cord casings, they, but they, they are bad for it in this area. There's a little bum house on the other end of this little mini field thing here. The wire casings I had told you about before. These people. And they're obviously ashamed of it too, right? Because they're hiding in the tall grass to do I'm it all. Full of stuff. Oh, you got it. Oh, God. Okay. No, it's just like stripping, wire strippings, just like this, but over there. Oh, it's over there too? Yeah, in the woods. So, yeah. We're pretty good for now. We're gonna, we have to come back here with a shovel. That's a boot? Is that a dead body? We have a tire. Look how deep that tire is stuck in. Oh. Really hope that's not attached to something, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All within just this space? This, I opened this bag coming into this hole. Probably exactly what it's there for. It's actually level up there. You can see it right here. Pre pack. Pre -pack. <laughs> Why don't you just take a seat? Take a load off. Could anyone like some We found two encampments where either homeless people or people who just don't care about the environment have taken upon themselves to destroy our environment and leave it for us to clean up. So Making it through, sure it might not be quick, but we have a good, good, good group of people 
and uh, hopefully next time you're here. And if you want to be a leader, like I said, get a hold of us, Trash Talk, Trash Apocalypse Cleanup, part two. Man, are you here? Are you helping? Are you helping too, little lady? Uh, you gotta go. <laughs> What's wrong with the little guy? What did he get into? I think it's just one of those days where he just feels super sick. Fine. Thank you very much. I'd give you a hug, but that's not COVID friendly. Feels really bad. I'm gonna go make him feel worse real quick. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> gonna make fun of him a little bit. Listen here, you sack of sh You're a f***ing <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. It's okay. You're not feeling too hot? What'd you get into? You were doing too much heroin on the weekend again? Okay. Again. Okay. Hey, don't feel bad, because you saved the day. If without you, we wouldn't have the mic. The mic was like, I was really, I was choked. I was giving your brother so much I was like, no, you're an idiot. Like, out of all the things to forget, you forget the brand new piece of equipment that makes our videos look like 1,700 times more professional. No, I was pretty pitted, pretty pissed. And you saved the day, so now you made your brother look good. You're fine. And you came all the way here just to drop off a mic and then cry. It's okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty manly. You showed up just to cry and leave. <laughs> like a giant baby. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because now I can't look at him the same because I've seen all the videos of him as a kid. And I just see the little kid sitting there. <laughs> this guy was in Zombieland too. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll show you the video. Well, you guys drive safe. Thanks, thanks for bringing that, it was huge. And uh, I can't wait until I get to see you cry on video. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It Feel better, feel top. better. We don't want to see anybody, you know, get sick or be sick.